Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's your boy, Ben, back with some more piping hot raw tea. As you all know, I don't hold back when it comes to calling out garbage behavior, especially when it comes to dragging my faves, Harry and Meghan, so you can bet I have some choice words to say about that nasty Saturday Night Live skit that tried to roast Prince Harry. Let me just say, guys... Up front, not cool, SNL. Taking cheap shots at Harry's immigration status and employment, that's hitting below the belt. I mean, we all love some good raw ribbing from time to time. A few jokes at Harry's expense can be funny when done right, but implying he's some deadbeat, unemployed immigrant leeching off his wife, that crosses a line from comedy to snarky cruelty, if you ask me. And let's be real, there's zero truth to Harry being some aimless couch potato. The man served 10 years in the military, including two tours in Afghanistan. I'd hardly call that the resume of an unemployed scrub, even if he's a hard-working royal, not anymore. The fact is, Harry has devoted his entire life, adult life exactly, to service, first in the armed forces and later as a senior working royal. He's given so much to benefit the public good. Even though he's stepped back from official duties, he's still actively involved in humanitarian work. Just look at what he's doing with the Invictus Games for wounded veterans, or his work to promote mental health awareness and HIV testing. I wouldn't exactly call that the track record of someone who's unemployed or unmotivated. My point is painting Harry as some loser immigrant relying on his breadwinning wife is not only inaccurate, but pretty insensitive. Making jokes about someone's employment status or immigration journey is punching down. And hey, if Harry was a stay-at-home dad and house husband, what's wrong with that? Why should the man be shamed for letting his accomplished wife take the lead in her career? It's 2023, not the 1950s. There's nothing funny or shameful about a man supporting his partner's aspirations. Harry's not even afraid to play the second fiddle to Meghan's starring role, so props to him for being secure enough in his masculinity to embrace this dynamic. At the end of the day, Harry does not deserve this at all. Or he doesn't deserve to be mocked as some freeloading jobless deadbeat. That's not who he is or the role he fills. And mocking any immigrant in that matter would be wrong, royal or not. Beyond just being mean-spirited, the joke ignores the real reasons Harry chose to leave royal life in the first place. He spoke openly about his mental health struggles and desired to build a better life for his wife and kids. Who can blame the man for wanting to escape a toxic situation? To protect his family, I applaud Harry for putting his principles and loved ones first. Even at great personal cost, that marks a stand-up guy, if you ask me. So while I normally don't take much issue with light-hearted role roasting, this SNL skit crossed the line. Harry is already going through a major life change and facing relentless media scrutiny. He doesn't need cheap, inaccurate pot shots, too. And let's be honest, poking fun at his employment status has sexist undertones that would never fly in gender roles were reversed. Can you imagine the backlash if they mocked a female royal as some unemployed gold digger? Yeah, not a good look. At the end of the day, Harry is grown into a man who can handle a few bad jokes, but as a public who cares about him, we should still call out comedy writing that stoops to insulting someone's immigration status or relationship dynamic. There are so many other things SNL could have ribbed Harry about in a light-hearted way, but of course they went for the cheapest, laziest laugh. So in summary, not cool SNL. As a self-proclaimed Harry Stan, I'm calling you out, do better next time and don't punch down at someone who's already been through the ringer. Give him a break. Anyway, those are my raw thoughts as I process this messy SNL situation. Let me know what you think in the comments. Was the joke over the line or harmless fun? I'd love to hear your takes and don't forget to like and subscribe so we can spill some piping hot tea together again soon.